We're making a six color print today. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. So my good pal and fellow YouTuber, Shade Tree Surgeon, I'm gonna link his channel up right there. He started himself up a brand slash merch line for himself that has been absolutely killing it. And we here at Rogue Lab have been doing a lot of the design and all of the print work so far. Well, today he's actually brought in some outside artwork for an amazing artist by the name of Donnie Conrad who does incredible like old school chopper type of vibe artwork and uh, it's a six color monster that I get to throw on some raglan. Myself and Dan have also put in multiple hours into this piece of art to clean everything up and get it print ready because believe me, it was far from being print ready, but that's all done now and we're ready to get going on this thing. Many of you were wondering we're printing this on white shirts, so no underbase screen, thankfully. <laughs> and uh, we're doing all the colors on 230 mesh screens because that's all that's needed. And plus I'm gonna add some soft hand base to all the colors just to make it feel a little better on the shirt. And that brings us to the next thing on the agenda, which is mixing up some custom colors for this thing. I haven't really gotten the chance to build up much of a Pantone library yet because I just mix them as needed. And even though we don't charge for Pantone mixing here, nine times out of 10, our clients choose to just take a stock color off the shelf. They want red, they want blue, and away they go. But in this case, we need the artwork to be as true to form as possible. And even though it wasn't designed with spot colors in mind, I sat there for a while and kind of found very close matches to everything that was on the screen. So we should be very much in the ballpark, but I got to mix up five of these things. So let's get to it. <laughs> up those inks is tough. I haven't gotten a shoulder workout like that since I was 12 and got my first internet connection. Alright, prep work's done. We're ready to do this thing tomorrow <laughs> because it's one o'clock in the morning now. My work day is definitely over. So let's go ahead and spin to the future. All right, let's do this. So the fact that this is a six color print is exactly why I wanted to make this vlog today because it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, pro, whatever you are, a six color print on a manual can be pretty difficult. There's obviously a lot more involved in the registration process and well, because there's so many screens, a lot more things that can go wrong during the print process, which I have experienced more than once. No matter what level you're at with these really color intensive prints, just remember that Patience is everything, especially during the registration process. It can be pretty difficult, and this is where I've seen a lot of people really freak out and give up, especially in the beginner stage, and this is something I can say that I did a lot in the beginning, but just remember, take your time with it. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. I'm sure you've seen multiple dickheads on screen printing groups saying I've registered this many colors in this many minutes, and who cares? I don't care if it takes you five minutes or five hours. At the end of the day, what really matters is making a clean product. And a lot of those people that are doing it in a very short amount of time are just shuffling something out the door that really isn't that great. Around here, I don't care what it takes. I will sit here for as long as I need to to make sure every single one of these colors is dead zero perfect so that whatever's going out the door is above and beyond whatever the customer needs it to be. And now this is something I get asked about a ton in the comments if I show myself registering colors together is what I'm using to do that. And it's just clear vinyl transfer tape. That's all I'm using. I'll just lay that down on the shirt and you can print on top of it, wipe it off and just keep repeating that process until you get it right. This stuff is worth its weight in gold around here. It makes the registration process so much easier and so much faster. It's ridiculous. But let's say you're on a bit more of a thrifty budget. Something else you could do is just take clear packing tape and lay a crap load of strips of that down across the shirt. It kind of has the same effect. Not quite as good as this stuff does, but it'll get the job done. So that being said, let's get to it. So what I'm gonna do here actually is I'm gonna register this thing different than my print order. Right now I've got my print order kind of going like mostly light to dark, which is what you want. I am gonna have one flash in there, but for the most part, when you're printing wet on wet, you wanna be light to dark. But since the first color going down in the print order is that really light cream color, it'd be a pain in the ass to try and register to that thing, trying to look through a yellow screen. It's impossible. So what I'm gonna do is just for the registration process, I'm gonna lay down the black first because it's gonna be the easiest color to see through all the screens, register all the colors to that. And then once we start the actual production run, we will go in the proper order. <laughs> That was 
pretty painless. Everything is pretty much exactly where it needs to be. The only one that needs a little bit of help is the blue needs to scooch over like one nut hair and we're good to go. Man, this thing is cool. I'm psyched to see what this is gonna look like on a fresh clean shirt. So let's go tape off our registration marks and get to work. <laughs> Quickly before I start, some of you might be wondering what I've got going on here in terms of a print order setup type of deal. So first up, we got the cream, then we got the yellow, then we got the red, then we're gonna hit the flash. Probably could do this whole thing wet on wet if I wanted to, but we're gonna throw the one flash in the middle because I want this red to really pop, so uh, yeah, whatever. And then we're gonna do the brown, the blue, and then the black. I am sweating my ass off in here already. <laughs> Damn, that was a lot of shirts. We're done though. That actually went insanely smooth, I'm very surprised. I only shit the bed on one shirt, and of course, that's the one I didn't catch on camera. Very simple mistake though, I should've been paying more attention. I lost too much tackiness on my palette adhesive for one. Thankfully, I caught it before any major disasters happened, but usually with that adhesive, I can go for like 75 to 100 shirts before I gotta hit it with the water and re-tack it again, but these are some fuzzy ass shirts because I was having to do that like every dozen, dozen and a half. But for a huge box of shirts like that and a six color print on a manual to only mess up one, I think that's pretty good. But anyways, let's go have a look at the final product because it is good. Those prints turned out so good. Ugh. I'm really happy I decided to add that flash halfway through. I know I could have printed all six colors wet on wet, but adding that flash in the middle, I was able to kind of retain the brightness of those bottom three colors a lot more, especially on the red, the final one before the flash. That bastard pops, so definitely happy I added that in there, even though it took a little bit extra time. It's worth it. But yeah, six colors on a manual doesn't have to be a stressful, painstaking thing. I know a lot of people just starting out watch these things, so as I said, just make sure you're patient during the registration process. That's probably the most important thing I can tell you, and make sure you're making tiny little moves on your micros, like make a tiny little move, check it, tiny little move, check it. It's way smarter to do that than to see it being out of registration and try and make one big move to get it right in there. It's gonna make your life way, way more difficult. So just make sure you're making tiny, tiny little movements and you'll be fine. Thank you to my man Shade Tree for trusting me with yet another round of his merch, especially this thing, man. It was so fun to make. I was kind of sweating it going in, not gonna lie, but it kind of went a little bit too easily. Last year, there was a lot of trials and tribulations in these videos, and now it seems like we're kind of just coasting through. I need to step up the difficulty level, I think. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that. Hopefully I come up with something. But that's gonna wrap this one up. Make sure you guys check out some of the links I put down in the description because there's some cool stuff down there. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Let's get you out of the shot or YouTube will demonetize me for your plastic titties. Why are you recording right now, you idiot? You literally have nothing to say. God damn, that looks good. <laughs> That was so close. That would have definitely smashed you. <laughs> I'm putting this thing into all kinds of danger today. <laughs> what are you doing? Things I do to get a nice shot. Dude, I wonder if I can sit on the rower and not have to set up the slider. Oh, that might work. <laughs> it's working. Oh my God. Well, we're coming in hot. <laughs> what are you doing back there, Cap? Think I can't see you? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> Every time. I'm trying to film something here, man. Get out of here. Get out of here.
Get out of here, you stupid cat. Oh, you wanna fight? You wanna fight me? I'll fight you. I will fight you right now. I will fight you right now. <sighs> Guess they never work with animals. Ugh, old man legs! Oh! <laughs> oh, I can't say cross-legged anymore.